guys, it's Marisa. Welcome back to my channel. How are ya? Today I'm in a pretty good mood. It is a beautiful sunny day out. I do not mind rain or the cold, but together, uh, can't stand it. <laughs> anyway, so today is a beautiful sunny day. And I just wanted to show you how these guys dried real quick. Um, yeah, so this is the heart from yesterday and the bloom came out much better. At first I really didn't like it. And here are the beautiful glass pieces. So that dried as usual, so beautiful. And then I actually had some paint left over. I didn't want to waste it. I didn't really want to save it for another time. So I quickly uh, made another bloom after I finished shooting the video yesterday and this actually came out better than this one This was perfect. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out like how much uh, cell topper to put on So I just put on a little I just have to put on less cell topper. I think I just had too much white <clears throat> But I still love it and it came out pretty and uh, the little touch of glass and glitter was just perfect for Valentine's Day and yeah, so here is how this guy dried and again just a little sprinkle of glitter again for Valentine's Day I actually do like adding a little glitter to my paintings not you know not like I, like I said I don't just dump so much glitter just like a touch you know and yeah that dried beautifully I just love the way this came out this paint is just I don't know it's just perfect to me in every way the colors are gorgeous um, never any and this is my coffee as usual <laughs> um, yeah the paint is just gorgeous I, I just have no complaints about it really except there is a little odor other than that you know my, my air is very well ventilated so um, most of the time I rarely even smell it all right so let's I'm gonna get up out of this seat here and let's so you see my hair dryer and you're like what the heck is that for oh a lot of you know already so today is literally the last full video <clears throat> I'm gonna be doing about the chakras. It is it, it is the end. And um, the only thing I'll probably do in another video is after I have, um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, and if you're new here, I have a whole series of videos and I'll link them, I'll put a card up here of Paintings I did for each chakra and I actually went into what each chakra means and You know how it could affect your life a little bit how you could work on them What they're about and then I just like took each chakra individually and made a specific painting and I used a different um, pouring technique for each chakra painting and video so now this is my project and um, I did a video the other day doing the la uh, the bottom three um, chakras and now these are the top ones. The crown chakra has been done for a while um, so I know that works and so what I am going to do is now do uh, the green, blue, and uh, indigo. Okay, so this again is a 16 by 20 a canvas that I'm going to be using. I'm going to try a Dutch pour. Um, this was my last Dutch pour over there. I actually kind of like the way it came out. I mean, is it a perfect Dutch pour? No, but um, you know, I need to practice. And for some reason, if I don't like the way this comes out, I have another two canvases down there. I could always do something else and that's not worrying me. So um, I'm going to be priming the canvas with my serum coat. I forgot to bring it up here. My serum coat um, paint and that is mixed with Floetrol. 
and um, yeah, we're going to be using the Arteza uh, pouring acrylic colors today. So what I wanted, I usually what I do is I would mix colors together. Like for the indigo, I was thinking of mixing them, but I had an idea um, similar to pointillism where you put like, you know, they used to put the, the uh, yellow and the blue dots together to make the green. Um, in pointillism, your eye kind of meshes those two colors together. Your brain kind of sees green instead of just the um, yellow and the blue dot. It kind of blends it together. Um, this is not pointillism, obviously, but I wanted to not mix the colors and give, give each of these colors, you know, just their day in, on my canvas. So I am going to be using, for the green, I'm going to be using two colors. I'm using the phthalo green and neon green. I'm doing a little neon today. I don't know why I felt like neon. For the blue, we're going to be using ultramarine, ultramarine blue, if I could talk. And I'm going to be mixing the phthalo blue and the purple for the indigo. I know that's weird, but I'm going for it. And I am just going to lay my paints just across this way and I am going to blow out that way and this way for the Dutch pour. Okay, that is what we're doing today. And then once this is dried on my own, I am going to be, um, you know, attaching all my uh, canvas panels and I will get them real quick here. All right, because some people don't know what the heck I'm talking about. So I'm going to be getting all the canvas panels. All right, this is this one, because these actually will belong on here. And yeah. Thanks again to Stacy Nicole from R2 Far 2 Lovers for doing these beautiful chakra symbols. Yeah, so that in the end, this is the background, and I will be attaching them and measuring, but that's kind of boring. I don't want you guys to watch me hot glue something. That I'm going to do that on my own. And then another video, just as part of another video, I'm just going to reveal um, how everything looks together, all three pieces, because here, real quick. Sorry, guys. All right. Yeah, so this is the crown done. So that will go up there, like right? the human body, okay? So that is what we're doing today. I am going to be doing the uh, green, blue, and indigo, even though this may not look like indigo, but that's my indigo, that's what I'm choosing. <laughs> All right, so I will be back in a couple of minutes and I will see you back to do this beautiful, hopefully, Dutch pour.
Hey guys, I am back. So, I if you can notice, I did go off camera and I had to keep on working on it for a while. I kept on it because my white paint was a little, uh, honestly, a little too thick. So I added a little of the Primal Flow white to make it a little more fluid. And what I forgot to mention in the beginning was that I added some of the cell topper I use for the blooms, which is the Amsterdam and Floetrol uh, recipe. Anyway, so you know, usually I've, I did the I did this Dutch pour a little differently, and the reason why I did now usually you know um, Dutch pour. Well, first of all, Dutch pour is not the best technique I am good at. Let's put it to you that way. Um, but you know, I just wanted to kind of push myself a little bit. I think that it came out beautiful. Uh, the colors are gorgeous, and I'm really happy I chose these colors first of all. But the re now I know that usually in Dutch pours, um, there's a lot more negative space, and you get these kind of wispy things coming down straight from the middle, um, like you know, like that type of texture coming down from the and there's a lot more negative space like usually this would all be negative space with like the wisps coming down but I realized after I kept on blowing out that basically because I'm using this for my chakra um, paintings that if this was all white on the end it would be kind of boring and then all the pretty colors would be in the center covered by these. I'm like, well, maybe this was the wrong pour to do technique to begin with, but I kept on adding more color as you saw partially me do. Um, I love that section there. Um, probably will be covered up at least maybe partially. So I kept on adding a little more white. I wanted to fix um, the thickness of this. It was getting a little thick, so I wiped some off. And then I added some Primal Flow instead, which was a little more fluid. And then I added a little more cell top, or just a little, and some more color to bring the color down more. So this way, because this is how it's going to be. Alrighty. It's going to be in the center here. So it works better for me personal. Let's bring this camera up. If I have more color coming out from the center. So it will work. And then you still see the pretty colors coming out. And it's not all covered by the other paintings. So. That's why I did what I did. Usually I would have left a lot more negative space, more like this one, see here? That's how I would normally do it. But for, these, for this purpose, I did it slightly different and I just kept on adding more color to the edges. Um, I think this came out very pretty after a little bit of a struggle <laughs> with it. Um, yeah, and the Arteza paints, they worked very, very well, um, but they, I don't know, they just weren't flowing um, the way I wanted. I think that was part of the of my struggle. Um, the white at first was more than, an, I felt more, you know, than enough, uh, fluid enough, excuse me, but... Like the Arteza wasn't kind of moving with it as much as I wanted. That's why I had to, another reason why I had to add some more paint. But yes, these paintings will be covering most of the center, um, but there will be space in between. So you will see uh, sections of it in the center pop out. And I just need some color coming out from each side. So. I still love this. Um, it was, a little, like I said, a little bit of a struggle, but I made it work, and hopefully it will work. Before I attach them, I'm gonna let this fully dry, obviously, and then I am going to place them down and see if it does work. 
For some reason, if I really don't like it, I may do another pour. There may be another video. I don't know. But I think that um, this will work. And yeah, that is that is it. That is my struggle for today. But in the end, I, I think that uh, I'm so happy I did add that, um, that cell topper. You see it pop out a little bit in here. Because honestly, the Arteza does not... Um, this is as usual filthy they don't uh, create great cells at all um, they're very pretty colors Artez is a great um, company and I they're highly pigmented co colors I mean look at this highly pigmented whether it be their two paints or their pouring acrylics great company you know great paint but it just wasn't fluent enough for my purposes uh, but I wanted to use them um, and I know that they have a, a great range of color so yeah so anyway I will let you know you're gonna know if there's another video on this because um, it'll be redo <laughs> And I'll just choose another pour to do, but I'm hoping that I can use this and it does work out. Um, yeah, as I was doing it, I realized that most of this paint, these paints are going to be covering up most of the section here, which I thought was so beautiful. I'm like, eh, so I need to bring out more color. Anyway, I'm sure it will work out. And that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is how it's going to be this way. So, let's get a little quick close-up. Yeah, I mean, this is beautiful. You know, if it doesn't work out for the chakra paintings, I mean, this still is a very pretty, pretty painting. And I am happy with it. So, yep. All right, guys. So thank you, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. Follow me on social media, all my links are below. And don't forget that all of my uh, materials are listed below as well. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much, bye.